Lieutenant, Corporal Garam, sir. Ready to brief you on the Migrant Merchants Guild at your command, sir. Calm down, Corporal. You might sprain something. Yes, sir. I'll just get started on that briefing, sir. The Migrant Merchants Guild is a criminal organization comprised primarily of non-humans whose homes were destroyed by the Empire's assault on Coruscant. They began squatting in this district and refused to leave when Republic security tried to push them out. There's been an uneasy truce ever since. I hope my mission doesn't make the situation worse. Uh, yes, sir. But the mission has to come first. General Garza informed me that your primary target within the Guild is a cyborg inventor named Krell. Reports indicate that Krell's strength and speed are at least triple the human norm, with genius-level intelligence to boot. Taking him down will be a real challenge, sir. I'll stay alert. Additionally, Krell has designed and constructed a full platoon of advanced war droids that we believe are intended for Tavis and the other Spec Force traitors. A full platoon is a lot of firepower to lose. Tavis is really gonna feel this one. General Garza wants all of Krell's war droids neutralized before they can be shipped out, sir. What's so advanced about these war droids? Heavy armor, multiple integrated weapon systems, and advanced combat and targeting logic, sir. The deadliest droids money can buy. Krell has his war droids patrolling the Migrant Merchant's guild base. General Garza wants them all found and destroyed. Do you have a fix on Krell's location? Negative, sir. We know he's inside, but that's about it. That concludes the briefing, sir. Good luck and good hunting. Republic scum! Do you really believe you can come here and destroy my creations without conscience? When you die here today, your feeble Republic will learn what it means to meddle in my work. In the name of the Republic, I order you to surrender. Surrender to you? Don't be ridiculous. I could crush your skull with a single hand. You're far too late. My plans are already in motion. Soon the people of this world will be brought to their knees by my greatest creations, my masterpieces. What are you talking about, Krell? I have taken ordinary humans off the streets and implanted several of them with advanced cybernetic enhancements. Their abilities now rival even my own. The cyborg's enhancements are internal and undetectable. The subjects themselves don't know who among them was augmented, and neither will anyone else, until it's much too late. I'm gonna make you pay for hurting those people, Krell. Fool! This cannot end in any way but your death. After you've been dealt with, I'll release my creations back to their normal lives, to wait until my hidden programming activates. This guy's full of it. I don't buy any of this. Once my masterpieces begin their work, the people of Coruscant will never be safe again. That's not gonna happen. You can do nothing to stop it. All you can do now is die. Destroy him! <laughs> Come in, Lieutenant. I want you to move immediately and destroy the cyborgs that Krell created. We need to deal with them now before they can disappear into the normal population. These situations are never easy. These people did not choose to be what they now are, but many more lives could be at stake. You'll have to eliminate Krell's creations. We can't know for sure if Krell was telling the truth, sir. Whether Krell was bluffing or not, these cyborgs are a risk we cannot allow. I'm giving you the kill order, Lieutenant. I take full responsibility for the consequences. Now get it done. Killing these people is wrong and you know it, Garza. It's right for the Republic. That's our only concern. Garza out. This is a waste of time. We should be going after the traitors. Not gunning people down just because some madman said they're dangerous. I'm not going to murder these people. I don't care what Garza says. Whatever we're gonna do, let's do it fast. Stay back. The door's locked and sealed. You can't get in. We heard all of the fighting, and we heard you talking to that freak, Krell. We're not coming out until you swear you won't hurt us. Just open the door. Let's talk about this. But we're not cyborgs. I, I know if I was some half-machine freak. This is insane. You out there, listen. I'm not sure about these others, but I can assure you that I'm not a cyborg. What? Are you calling me a freak like Krell? I, I am not a freak. Maybe you're the cyborg, and you're trying to trick everyone. I am not! He spent far more time operating on you than he did on me, so if anyone's- Both of you, stop it! None of us are cyborgs, that's all there is to it. Prove you aren't cyborgs and I'll let you go. What do you mean, prove we aren't cyborgs? 
You might as well ask us to prove we're not Rancors. It's obvious, isn't it? This is insane. Even if a few of us are cyborgs, would you really murder all of us just to be sure none of the cyborgs escape? You're right. This is absurd. I can't do this. Then you won't hurt us? You'll let us go? Give me your names and identification numbers, and I'll let you go. What? So you can track us all down and kill us later? No way. If it gets us out of here alive, then it's worth it. We'll put the information on a data pad for you, soldier. Okay. Stand back. I'm going to open the door. Here's the data pad, soldier. Thank you for sparing us. Let's go home, everyone. Stay safe out there. Thanks again, soldier. Farewell. Lieutenant, my orders were perfectly clear. Eliminate Krell's cyborgs. With all due respect, General, I could not obey those orders. My orders are not polite suggestions, Lieutenant. You don't choose to follow them. You follow them. Lieutenant, when you are on a mission, you listen to my orders. Then your brain, then your heart, in that order. There's no room for sentiment in our line of work. There should be similarly little room for it in you or we're doomed to fail. If we're heartless, what separates us from the Empire? We are heartless so that the people of the Republic don't have to be, Lieutenant. So that the Republic does not become the Empire. Always remember that. Return to my office now. We need to discuss your next assignment. Garza out. <laughs>